let's bring in Jamil Jaffer, who served as associate counsel to President George W. Bush, where he worked on defense, State Department, and intelligence community matters. He's also former senior counsel to the House Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence. Jamil, thanks for coming back on the show. Appreciate it. All right, your first reaction to this news of this discovery of these classified documents. Well, Dan, I think you had it exactly right, which is there is a surface similarity here, and it is troubling, obviously, that uh, these documents were found in early November. We're only just now hearing about them two months later. That being said, there's a significant difference that you rightly pointed out between these documents and the Mar-a-Lago documents. President Trump was, request was asked for those documents multiple times. At first, it, some were turned over, then it required a subpoena, then ultimately a search warrant that turned up over 100 classified documents. Nonetheless, President Biden was very critical in August of last year of President Trump and his alleged mishandling at the time of these classified documents. Um, and now, apparently, there were some mishandled documents uh, apparently in uh, his possession as well. That obviously will not uh, inure to his benefit. How uncommon or how common is it for a president or anyone else to um, combine classified documents with non-classified documents and to make mistakes when it comes to this stuff? Well, look, I think mistakes do happen uh, with some regularity uh, in the government. Uh, at times you'll, you'll have unclassified and classified documents on your desk. You might stick a paper in between, mistakenly carry it out. As soon as you discover that, you report it to a security officer. They investigate it. They make sure the documents are returned and, 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 and retained properly. There was no inappropriate disclosure. So mistakes do happen, but, you know, they go in a permanent security file. And if they happen regularly or if they happen in an egregious way, people are disciplined and can lose the security clearances as a result of even a mistake. Could President Joe Biden lose his security clearance? Well, I think that's highly unlikely because, of course, the pre all security clearances derive ultimately from the president's authority. So it seems unlikely you'd be able to restrict a president from having uh, access to classified information. But, of course, if he's mishandling it, that's a problem. Right now, we just don't know enough about how these documents ended up where they did, what was in these documents or the like. But at a minimum, what you can say is there's certainly going to be a lot, uh, a lot of discussion on Capitol Hill about, about these documents and what they mean uh, for the vice pre for the current president um, and the former president and the investigation of both. Let me let you listen to this uh, soundbite. This is from uh, Representative Byron Donalds on CNN tonight uh, reacting to the documents uh, that were just found. He's obviously a, a Republican. Let's listen. My reaction is pretty simple. I'm wondering why the vice president of the United States had classified documents outside of the hands of the intelligence community. Listen, it's been pretty clear that presidents do have some classified documents, but the difference between a president and everybody else is the president has the ability to declassify information. The vice president has no ability to declassify information. So number one, what was he doing with classified information in his possession? Number two, why did it take six years? And I, I want to stress this for the American people. Joe Biden left the vice presidency in 2017. Jamil, your response to that, your reaction to it? Well, you know, I think, I think uh, Congressman uh, Donalds is right to raise some of these questions. Of course, the challenge is uh, that President Trump claimed that he declassified his documents. He claimed that, uh, that they were personal records. President Biden hasn't made either claim. Uh, we don't know what his claim will be, if any, but as of right now, it seems like they're suggesting that they were inadvertently kept. It was a mistake. And so I think there's a little bit of a difference here. Um, so while, while, you know, Congressman Donalds is right that the president has primary declassification authority, not really relevant here because there's no evidence other than President Trump say so that he actually well, declassified anything. And they did never argued it in court, right? I mean, That's never, right. ever argued it in court. So, but it does seem, look, that this is the, uh, the narrative that is beginning. Um, but look, we, uh, we appreciate it, and I think it's an important story to uh, keep an eye on. Jamil Jaffer, thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Dan.